try it again. Hey everyone, this is Kevin Richard here for Total Singing on YouTube and totalsinging.com on the web for voice lessons globe-centric worldwide. Um, I haven't posted a video in a really long time here, in a couple of years, because um, I kind of got busy with doing other things and I kind of wanted to wait out all the squeaky wheel just at a university 20-something vocal coaches that came on YouTube doing these, these really hideous vocal coach reacts videos. Kind of wanted to let them have their kind of, you know, squeaky wheel moment. Uh, let them get a little bit of attention and then as would happen with all of these young people. Um, now I don't want to, young people, you'll, there are young people that can know, know a lot and be very good at what they do. But most of these that just came on YouTube and just did nothing but vocal coach reaction videos didn't know squat about singing. Um, they got a little bit of university knowledge and thought that they could kind of translate that into teaching people something by talking about other people singing. I, I, I don't get it. So anyway, wanted to let them have their little squeaky wheel moment, let them kind of um, have their peak and sort of uh, fade away so I could come back here and give you some quantitative, actual, real singing lessons. Um, what we're going to do today is we're actually going to go back to um, the basics. We're going to go back to breathing. The number one thing you need to get right to have a balanced voice is breathing. If you get the breath right, a lot of your other vocal issues kind of fall away and a lot of the, the, the voice kind of falls into place because getting the right balance between air pressure and vocal cord closure is essential to having a balanced, well-functioning uh, well mechanism, uh, vocal mechanism. And what we're going to do today is we're going to do a very, very simple exercise. It's just ha. And we're going to do this just on a basic triad, actually down. Um, what I want you to do here is I want you to have a long H and a very short A. Ah. So it's ha, ha, ha. Long H, you want to hear that H for a while, and then the A. Ah. We're going to do it at this tempo. Ha, ha, ha. Points to, to remember as we do this, do not add more air as you go up in range. Now for men, I'm going to start this down here at the C below middle C, the C, E, G here. For women, I would probably start this around the... Uh, the G, here, the G, B, D, right, right, Look up there. But either it doesn't matter where you start, just follow me on this one. Um, I'm just going to do a very, it's like this, ha, 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 that's it, just as simple as like that, ha, ha, ha. Points to remember as we go up, do not add more air as the notes get higher. Don't let the, the, the you know, the changing of the notes influence how much air you use to make the notes. Allow the notes to get lighter and thinner as we go up. This teaches you not to sort of grab and grip as you go up. Okay, so like this. Ha, ha, ha. same thing allow it to thin out as you go up the idea is we're trying to teach the brain and the body not to overload the system as we increase notes um, as we increase frequencies um, go up in notes whichever way you want to think about it um, this is crucial because most people think as they start to sing higher they need to add more air and kind of dig in a lot and kind of Godzilla stomp their way into upper notes. This is wrong, very, very wrong. Uh, we want to kind of have an equalized um, exhale as we go up in notes. The only thing that's changing is the, uh, the epiglottic closure here uh, is getting smaller in the middle. 
as we sing higher. It's kind of like the iris of a camera kind of closes up in the middle there. A um, long time ago, we used to think the vocal cords kind of zipped up from like the front to the back. Um, we found out later that they actually kind of close from about both the back and the front at the same time, and they kind of close in towards the middle. Um, so what we want to have is an equal distribution of air across the entire vocal cord as it closes like that. So the only thing that changes is just that epiglottic closure, um, the approximation where it happens, all kinds of technical crap that you don't need to worry about. about. But anyway, here we go. So <clears throat> now I was doing that at a fairly good clip. Um, if it's a little too fast, you can try it, you know, ha, ha, ha. You want to feel a pump of dia diaphragm for each note. Don't take one breath and try to do three notes, you know. You're holding tension. You don't want to do that. It's one breath per note. Ha, ha, ha. And let the body relax between each ha, right? Ha, ha, ha. If that's if you needed that slow to kind of get the gist of this. Ha, ha, ha. You eventually want to get to this kind of speed. Ha, 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 ha. basically continue to do that almost indefinitely um, because you are repriming your, your, your respiratory system after each note. You're allowing the body to relax and reset itself so that you have basically a new breath for each one. And you basically, in opera they kind of call this circular breathing. Um, I know for, for uh, instruments, someone like, like Kenny G, uh, trumpet players and like clarinet guys, circular breathing is like they put a whole bunch of air in their in their cheeks and they power the instrument through that while breathing through their nose. They call that circular breathing. But in opera, circular breathing is the ability to take these little micro breaths between notes so that it sounds like one continuous uh, breath, but you're actually taking little breaths here and there, um, but it's unnoticeable to the listener. And that's kind of what we're doing here is we're teaching our body how to relax between notes very quickly. Start out slow and then make it and you can tell so I'm not getting louder as I get higher. Now I, can, I can stretch that out to an octave one. quick little flexes of the diaphragm. Ha, 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 ha. That's what you want. One breath, one diaphragm flex. That way you've got a new breath for every note. This is a simple way to start teaching your brain to not overload the system as you go up and down in range. Try to equalize it out in equilibrium. That's what we're trying for here because the number one thing in proper singing is balance. Till next time, this is Kevin Richards for Total Singing here on YouTube and totalsinging.com on the, on the web for voice lessons worldwide. Again, don't remember to check out, don't forget, don't remember, remember to, don't forget to check out the links uh, in the description below to get both my vocal courses still just for 50 bucks with a different da uh, digital download because you're a nice person and watched my video here. Till next time, this is Kevin Richards. Keep rocking, keep practicing.